first thing to know, if you have a stock dividend, this requires a journal entry. You're actually giving out ownership of the business. Instead of giving cash, most time when you give out a dividend, you debit your dividend credit cash. But in this case, if a company doesn't have a lot of cash, they'll give out, div they'll give out more shares of stock. So their, your journal entry would have been something, would be something like this, dividend for 20,000, and then we gave out common stock. I'm just gonna make up something. Say there were 2,000 shares at a dollar a piece. So instead of, instead of, uh, instead of crediting cash, like what we normally do, this company decides to issue more stock just to be able to give their owners something. <clears throat> What's a dividend do to your owner's equity? Does it make it go down your owner's equity or make it go up? Remember a dividend is a contra so when you issue a dividend, dividends take money out of the business. I have a positive dividend on the debit side, and ultimately it's a negative to owner's equity because what it does is brings down retained earnings. This, however, so this kind of acts like a negative to owner's equity. But this acts like a positive to owner's equity. It's just taking one account out of the other. Kind of like taking cash and petty cash. Your total assets aren't going to really, you aren't going to change at all. It's just what's in each account is going to change. I gave up, I gave out more ownership, but I took the money out of the company to do it. Retained earnings. So overall, it doesn't have much of an effect. With a stock split, what this is, is I like to envision um, a stock certificate and say the uh, fair market value of this stock right now is worth $10. Now let's make it more realistic. Let's say $50. And this is Disney stock. And once you get above about $30 or maybe a little bit higher, Investors start shying away from buying stock because they may not get as much of a return out of it. So once it gets above about 50, it starts going up a lot slower. So what Disney would do in this case is offer a two for one stock split. So now as the investor, I have two shares instead of one and each of them are worth $25 a piece. How much did my value in the company go up or down? None. That's exactly right. Nothing happened, really. So when there's a stock split, there is no journal entry to record. The only thing a stock split does is, one, it cuts in half. It, uh, it cuts in half the, uh, the par value. So if the par value was a dollar, now the par value, you still have a dollar, but now each of them are worth 50 cents. It cuts in half the par value and doubles, if it's a two for one, and doubles the number of shares outstanding. So if I had one share outstanding, I now have two shares outstanding. That's all a stock split does. And then what that does in turn is it gets more people interested in the stock. Now it's $25, it's more attractive, and so it's going to, it's bound to go up in, in uh, value compared to, it wouldn't go up as much if it was still at 50. Not as many people are interested in it. So is it a cross the board split, like preferred stock and common stock? Or is it just common stock that gets split? Well, they would, it would just depend on what they decide. It would most likely be just common stock. But they could say both of them. 